Good morning, Draven here. Back with Valheim. Morning, just thought I'd play some more. Uh, I have been playing it offline a bit. Uh, gathering some resources. I haven't progressed anything. I haven't built anything new. New, new. new. <laughs> What I have done is I have moved from my house was up here before I think the one I'd found I'm using temporarily uh, I've moved to down here another little village that I found abandoned village it's near the sea um, just because I was needing lots of flint for the next bit there's lots of flint here because this is a meadows area. Got a dark forest area here. And we've got meadows here. And we've got copper close just by. I think there's probably some in here that I haven't found yet. I haven't been into the dark forest much. Um, <clears throat> and I found a workbench there. I think that's. My sons and his friends. Yeah, I think we'll actually just sleep until daytime. There might be quite a few interruptions today because um, our kittens. I keep thinking that's something outside <laughs> here. Is it's making the rustling noise? Uh, yeah, the kittens have um, been taking them out into the garden the last few days, so only whilst we were there. So, them is desperate to get back out. Probably going to come here now and again and interrupt. Right, um, let's see. Let's see, I moved lots of stuff, I moved everything <coughs> Sorry, down that I had. Been storing stuff away. You have managed to get four stacks of flint. Uh, plenty of meat. Keep a trophies. Oh, and I got a bit of coal. That was the only thing I got new because I accidentally burnt a bit of beef on the cooking station. But apart from that, I haven't unlocked anything new. Did that give me again? Now I've got the flint axe now. What did they give me? But the coal opened up something. <clears throat> so this is my little, this is the abandoned village I'm now based in. Eat one of I've gathered some stone, stacked it. I've gathered quite a lot of logs. Gathered them here. Way down to the sea. Oh, I haven't changed my subs here. Since it's March. Oh. 
Right, so I think we needed to upgrade our workstation and to do that we need to build um, a chopping thing. Oh yeah, it gave us the coal and made us you be able to use signs. Make tor we could make them before, torches. Right, we need to make this, so we need 10 flint. Leather scraps, deer hide, and more flint for the tannin rock. So let's get them built. So... We're gonna need... 35 of that. The arrows. Good enough for that. We're going to need 10 more wood, 20 scrap, and 5 deer hide. Eighteen of that. No, we don't need them. But everything was there something else. We needed more wood. But that should be everything. I'm just going to leave these outside, I think. Just along here. Put the chopping log there. On and hide. Is it there? No. Other side. Quite small, doesn't it? Right. Has that upgraded our leather? Leather helmets, flinted arrows. Oh, we've got five arrows for them. A high cape, leather helmet. Okay, so we've got quite a few new things. We've got a workbench level three. Do we need to upgrade the hammer to get... Why have we got two hammers here? I've been trying to get my swimming up a bit, but then I died. It was at 10. <laughs> But I think we should try and concentrate on getting better armor. Probably gonna be going out deer hunting, aren't we? Quite a lot of arrows. Is this my old tools? Oh, I haven't left them. I made myself a new hammer. I don't need these. Maybe I should make a new vest and just shove all them in it. A 
need the hoe because I don't I don't need it on me. Let's shove a chest over here. here right so we're trying to make better armor it looked like it was lots of what have we got just now Rag, right, so we need these top three and a cape. So we can make that. Make the leather pants. Helmet. Uh, we need five bone fragments, we should have that. the cape. Cape gone. Oh, there. Moving the stuff I can make to the top, okay. Um, oh, seven, right. Just gonna put the old armor in here, in case we need it. And can I move that out? Bottom. Don't get much inventory space there. <laughs> Right, so we are ready-ish to go. We need anything more there. Lots of feathers. I wonder if we could try and get some birds. Because fire arrows would be great. Yeah, let's go try and... Argies. Eat up. I don't know if there's anything. Maybe pick up some more flint. So that's the dark forest in there. But what's the next down this way? So the plan is to build quite a big base here. Um, 
I really wanted it down at the water. But I don't know if we can get rid of that stone. I've got quite a lot of flint, so I probably don't need to bother but mind getting one last lot. There was. This is the flint. Found along the water's edge. I have quite a job hitting them. Oh, it's flint in there. Below the stone, good morning. How are you today? I'm not long on, so that's quite loud, isn't it? I got my new leather armor on. My leather cape, my dear hide cape. Quite lower the game sound a wee bit. Mercer stories. Mercer, it rings a bell, but I don't think I don't really think I know much about them. Christmas time over here, they tend they they show a lot of ghost stories on late at night. I used to watch. And then um, I did used to read quite a few. I can't remember the authors though. I'm just sort of gathering up one last load of flint before I make some fire arrows. Thought I heard something there, big, but. Try and get my swimming back up to 10 skill. Yeah, I'm hoping they are. <laughs> we need to I need to summon the first of the bosses at some point in order to progress so I need to make sure I'm suitably armed up
Most people seem to be using fire arrows, so I want to get plenty of them. Just as well, these these flints respawn. Most ground objects respawn after a certain number of days. I don't know how many days. I've sort of been logging on every now and again just to check this area. It's getting dark now. I think we're going to have to head back. We'll just grab this last few. Then we'll head back to our base for the night. I am wet. It's a really nice effect they've got on the torches. Yeah, this. Well, that water's edge bit's really good for flint. I've moved my hole. You know how I'd, I'd set up in an abandoned... Uh, ...little house. Well, I, set, I found out an abandoned village closer to the water, so... I moved all my stuff to there. There quicker. So, who's that? Who's a deer? I don't see anything. Yeah, I'll try not to. <laughs> I love the way the trees, um, I've been chopping some trees down and I, I like the way the tree that you're chopping falls into other trees, it damages, it could even knock down other trees so you get like a domino effect. There's the light from my cooking fire. So this is my new little village. See, it's right close to the water. The water's just down there. There's all the logs I've been collecting. Raven's site office. Right, I need to sleep for the night. Also, you have to watch the tree trunks don't fall on you or roll on you. <laughs> you have to watch which way the trees fall. I'm just... Oh. I'll pop all of these again. I didn't mean to do that. Or that. Or that. <laughs> I meant to do that one. Wait. 
right, that's our flint replenished. Let's just cook this meat. And not let it burn. That's how I I found coal. I let one of the bits of meat cook too long. <laughs> it, it burnt into coal. You can make a cooking pot later, so you can cook better things. Right, there we go. Right, we need to go... Oh, there's a tannin rock. I haven't used the tannin rock. Or can I use? I can't use it, it's just for show. Let's just be for show. Right, we need to find some birds. I really. Not that easy to find. I need the feathers off them. Oh, I was going to show you the trees falling. Let me go. Might find some birds on the way. into a more densely packed uh, forest. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we'll chop this one down. See if it hits any of the other trees. Oh, look, it's hitting the other tree. Oh, it didn't knock anything else down, but it's until it'll have damaged that one. <laughs> then you have to cut this into two. Where's the other? end. <gasps> Look it's stuck up the tree. <laughs> Let's chop this one down. Timber. Go oh, knock that one down. <laughs> now you can get rid of the stumps. Oh no. Oh I can't chop that tree. I need a stronger axe for that one. It's away. Oh no, it destroyed that bush and that one. I could, I could have, couldn't I? <laughs> If I head along this way, I 
Um, where is it? I haven't spotted any birds. Got it in that one eye. But yeah. Where is it? Oh, there. I can just see the wall coming through there. a massive tree. I don't know, I can't remember what they called it. It's to do with the Norse mythology or something. It's just a skybox, but it's really nice. It reminds me of another game, um, Xenoblade Chronicles. They had something similar. This is my son and his pal's base. Just a bit bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah. They had um when I first logged on here they didn't have the stone wall. They just had the the wooden wall round about. I can't go in because it, it up, upsets my tutorials, <laughs> pop-ups, because it thinks I'm more advanced than I am. <laughs> uh, but they've got portals, you can have portals to other places, say if you're running everywhere. Also got a little farm down there, they're still trying to finish off their stone wall. A smelter there. They've been chopping heaps of trees down. So they've they've been putting these signs up. And they've been digging these paths as well. Mountain. The docks mining. Elder Altar, okay. I was looking up to see if the trees regrow, but most people think they don't. I don't know if the saplings grow. And I would hope over time everything just... Like these little saplings, if they drop down from the... Bees regrow, regrew? I don't know. Can um Yeah. You can plant these beech seeds to get to make uh, to grow your own beech trees. The uh, I always like there's a there was a mod that I always used to install on our Minecraft servers. Um, 
you chop the trees down, if you left the, the saplings floating, um, some of them would replant themselves around about the area. So your forest was always regrowing. I like that. So it would be nice if that happened here. Right, let's um see if we can find some birds, which was our main aim. Get some fire arrows. I really like the common music. They've been leaving their tree stumps. Okay. <laughs> I usually chop them down. I want my wood. Do I do it? He hurls stones at you. <laughs> right, I think we need to get out of here and we need to eat again. Better take him away from their base. It should probably up its ante when you're being chased like that or have a mob nearby. Oh, there he goes, he's, he's forgotten about us. Right. I don't have many mushrooms. Yeah, exactly. Just to put the edge on the fact you're probably about to die. <laughs> but we'll just keep a lookout for birds. They're probably just down on the wa water. It would, wouldn't it? <clears throat> We've really made a great job though of making it feel like you're in a forest. I think we need to go either down near the sea or um, here are the hilltops. I'm trying to get my blocking skill up, because uh, it's pathetic. <laughs> yeah, I think because they're using quite a low texture resolution, they've managed to fill the forests more. might have found some birds in this area but I can't break these stones yet I presume I need a better uh, uh, pickaxe or well, it's getting windy
I really don't know where the best place would be to get the birds. That's my place down there. They look more like seagulls, so I'm going to try to back down to the water's edge. Yeah, I haven't seen any. You, you sometimes see them flying in and then landing. We'll have a quick look back down here and then we're probably going to have to go back to our house and sleep for the night. I always wish these games would make the daytime longer. <laughs> the days always feel so short. Or at least maybe give you the option to set your server up. You can say how long you want the days to be. Yeah, it doesn't seem right, does it? I think the night time's quite short in this, but um, the day just doesn't feel long enough to get things done. I mean, you can't stay out at night, it's just it's a bit more dangerous. Right, this is a dark forest area, there's lots more mobs in here. What's that over there? Well, there's been some fighting going on here because there's stuff dropped. Oh, oh, bird! Got it. Right, so we might have to come into here. We're going to have to go back to our houses now because there's no way I'm staying in that forest at night. <laughs> oh, another bird. Right, so it looks like they're in the dark forest, so we'll have to venture into there in the daytime. Look at the har coming in, the mist. We shall rest up here. I heard fighting going on. Right, let's go see if we can fight, find some birds.
well. <laughs> oh, that's really nice, isn't it? The thunder and lightning effect. I just wonder what these blue lights were, but... Must just be... Um, fireflies or something. Mushrooms. It's a wild day. Blue braids. Oh, my blue braids running away. I'm not seeing any more birds. <laughs> oh, there was one there. Can I shoot them down, do you think? Is he going to come back down? Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. They're really hard to spot in here unless they're sitting on a rock. Oh, somebody has died here a few times. Look. He arrests. There's a standing stone. Yeah. Let all who read me beware of the grey dwarfs, the skulkers in darkness, the soulless ones. They are born from rot and rainfall. They spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There is nothing on their tongues or behind their eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a great sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst which draws rocks and wood and moss to it. it gathers up the peat into f flesh, braids, braids, reeds into bone and takes rags for skin.
It should not walk, but when the night comes, it walks. Should you who read the sea one with a sword to your hand, lance it and let it out, or put it to the torch, for it fears the flame. Get little tips and read. Oh, there was a bird that landed right next to us. I can hear birds. There, there's one. Just needed to land. That's really a nice effect that with the sun coming through the trees. I would really like to find some birds. Especially when I can hear plenty of them. That's like gravestones again. Oh, my sneak has improved. I like this sort of uh, skill based uh, training. I like the fact it goes up as you use it. Always been my favourite way. I can hear plate bars, I just can't see any. Maybe I need to shoot them out of the sky. Go in here for a second. I go up here. Yeah. Right, I'm going to look up where the best place is to find birds. Otherwise, we'll be here just going in circles constantly. Fall high birds. Find a large open area with a lot of these bird spawns, but well, I would if I could. <laughs> Don't bother if, if they're flying, because you'll lose a lot of arrows.
So they're sent to find a quite an open area. Eat another bite. And my Google's not working. Okay, we'll just keep looking about. I thought we were hearing them more in here. Well, they sound more like crows, don't they? general direction of our base. Ooh, what's that? I don't like the purple campfire. I was going to show you what the copper um, veins look like. I found one over here. Oh, this was it. See the copper veins running through this rock. Glinting in the sun. Right. Um... No luck with the birds. Oh, I don't have my stream avatars up. I just realized. <laughs> 